Hello and welcome to the third map for the Apprentice. This is the Mage's Quarters. Map as well as the next map which is the Alchemical uh, Laboratory. Unfortunately I had my mute on so the videos didn't turn out uh, as nicely as they should have. But it, didn't, uh, it wasn't all for naught. Um, I ended up getting myself a really good staff by defeating the boss character in the fourth level. So I do have a better staff now which is great. So, to do this video over again, basically, um, as with any new level and stuff, you basically start off a few waves in, and you also start with an extra um, crate of mana, which is great because uh, it does allow you to build more things. The only thing is, is uh, up to level 3 here, is you still only have enough to build 5 towers, and uh, I'll show you how to uh, basically set up a base defense uh, on this particular level. Again, this is a... Um, defend the crystal uh, type of defense or uh, strategy where I basically build my defenses close to the tower it's not the fastest kind of defense to have uh, if you want to have fast times uh, you might want to build them a little bit closer down this is more of a try and put as much power as you can without trying to spread yourself too thin so I've collected all of the um, mana that I can and I'm going to start building my towers here so again with the previous defense, I'm building uh, magic missile towers first, which is pretty much all you can build in the first round anyways. So let's build it that way. I'm just going to put one tower here in the center, because I don't have enough to build all six towers, only enough to build five. And then I'll stand at the center and act as the sixth tower for the first round. And there we go. So that should provide enough coverage for the first round. I don't have any mana left, so let's get the first round started. Now I'm doing this on uh, medium instead of hard. The the this defense does work on hard as well, but um, in the last tutorial I had a little bit of difficulty. Uh, it didn't work as well as it should have. But on medium, it should be able to uh, show you the, the base defense and see how well it works without uh, getting beaten too much. The unfortunate part of playing at medium instead of hard as well is the fact you don't get as much mana um, for the kills as you do in the higher levels uh, for hard and insane. Collect the rest of this mana here, waiting for the next mini wave to come through, which is starting now. This staff is much better than the last one. It's also a lot larger than the last one as well. Okay, so that was wave three. Now I'm going to basically add to my defenses. Let's go back and get the mana here. That really is a huge staff. Almost makes it look like my wizard is uh, overcompensating for something. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put up my sixth tower finally. And I'm going to build up a little bit of a defense here. Not quite center. Is a little better. Now if you don't want to pit these walls too far down because your towers don't have that long of range, you don't have to, you can move them up a bit. The reason why you want to keep them uh, far enough away from your towers is uh, when you have the grunts and of course the ogre when he comes in, while he's bashing the, uh, the wall he's also bashing your towers. You don't want that to happen. So 
you do want to keep the wall a fair distance away from your towers so as not to uh, get them damaged at all. Now this is an ogre map, uh, like it was with the um, foundries and forges, and he comes at the very, very last level. So we're not going to worry about setting up defenses for him just yet, but we will eventually uh, set up defenses in the center to be a, a lot more damaging than anything else, because the ogre is going to come from one of those two doors. So on the side here, I'm going to set up my first fireball tower. There will eventually be two fireball towers here. Actually, uh, one fireball and one lightning I'm going to put in here a little bit later on. That was a strategy that I used when I was, uh, put this on hard. It worked fairly well. Actually worked extremely well. So I'm going to put that there. One of the new characters that you're going to run into on this map is the Waverns, which are flying birds, and they come across from that door down there and from that one down there. So you want to have defenses where I'm standing here and of course things spot on the other side as well um, to get rid of those. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put in a lightning tower here and that will complete the defenses for this round. You see I'm running out of mana so I'm not going to be able to do too much anymore so let's start the next round and we'll see how this plays out. Again use your shift key or basically whatever key you've bound to uh, open up your map to take a look and see um, if any of your defenses are lacking in any areas, and those areas will be the ones you want to build up on. But again, you really want to build on that center uh, choke point, because that's where the ogres are going to be coming from. As you can see, nothing's getting to my defenses at all, because again, I'm on medium, not hard. Um, on hard, they were getting to my defenses. But again, this strategy works um, for at least the first three difficulty levels. Um, I haven't tried insane yet, and I don't want to, because um, I did do the next level, which is the... Um, a chemical laboratory. I did that on hard and I pretty much got my butt whooped. So I'm going to be doing it on medium as well because I know I can beat on medium. But the strategy does work but I do have to improve it um, because again I, I did finish the level until I got this particular staff but uh, I basically lost all my defenses and had to do a lot of manual work with a really um, crappy staff that I had uh, in the previous tutorials. So once again, in between mini waves, I am collecting all the mana. Um, I've noticed that if you wait a little bit too long, the mana does disappear, and you lose it. And with this particular map, it's it's best to go get your mana as soon as possible, because you you don't have as much as you normally would because of the lava. What happens is a lot of your mana ends up falling into the lava, at which point you can no longer retrieve it. So that wave is complete, which is good. So, so far we have absolutely no damages to our defenses, which is really great. It's showing that this, def this particular strategy does work. And if you're finding that medium is too difficult for you because you're a lower level, definitely try the easy level. Um, I completed all the easy levels for the first two areas. Um, relatively easily up to about level 20. So it's not too difficult. As long as you have enough mana and can summon the great towers, you won't have much of a problem at all. Okay, so now as you can see down there, the bottom character, where my mouse is sort of pointed, that's a Wavern. So we know that the Waverns are coming in next level, so I've got to build up my defenses here to protect against them. So I'm basically building my towers as if I was basically doing it for the hard level. So the strategy works on both. I'm going to build it the same way I would for them. At this point I'm going to build a fire tower here. Which will hopefully protect against the wavern as well as protect against down below. I didn't put it in the right position. Now you notice how I'm lining them up. Basically what I'm doing is I'm covering half of the protective wall down below. So 
so it protects that way up, this winger protects that way up, and then of course they're painting almost straight this way so that the wavering will also get caught by the fireball. I do have enough to put in my lightning towers, I'm going to do that now. Lightning towers are probably one of the best towers. It's not the most damaging, the most damaging is the uh, death striker tower, but it only attacks one target at a time, does a lot of damage to one particular target. Whereas the lightning tower does a lot of damage to multiple targets, and that's what we want to have. So that's pretty much all the defense we're going to build for the sides. The rest of our defense will be on the center. Can't upgrade. Um, on hard, you definitely want to upgrade the side panels for sure. That's about all we're going to do. I'm going to add two death rays here next round. We'll be pointing forward for the ogre when he comes. And I'll dip basically build another defense wall there and defense wall there to keep the ogre at bay. So that's pretty much what I'm going to be adding in the next few rounds. If you have a staff that allows you to do some damage, definitely take a couple shots at the guys. Um, the staff I had before only shot two points at a couple hundred piece, and uh, it wasn't really that effective. This shoots five st stars at once. So if you can get close range, you're basically doing five times the damage of the staff, which is really great, uh, especially at close range to the characters. Grab as much mana as I can without getting hit. If you set up your defenses right, you won't have to worry about the kamikazes with the bomb strapped to the back of them. Um, they'll never get to your tower, to your, um, your your wall that you've created. Now, see, lightning, you have to watch where you're getting your mana from because the lightning will basically carry um, so many characters down. So you do get quite a wide range of destruction, especially on medium and on easy. On hard, not so much, because it uh, takes more to kill them, but... So the wave's complete. I have enough mana to go and upgrade my side towers. You don't need to do this if you're on medium at the level that I'm at, um, but it's always good practice, no matter what level you're at, to upgrade your forward defenses, only because of the fact that uh, they do get a beating while the towers are taking them out. Especially at lower levels when your towers don't do as much damage as mine do right now. Um, they're going to take a lot of front force, so... Pick up all the items that I can. Pick up the mana from below. Let's have one more crate to go grab. Where am I on the map? Okay, I'm there. Missing an item over here on this particular wall. Ooh, two items. I'm going to go and grab this mana here. Now I should have enough to basically complete my defenses well ahead of time. Which means I'll be able to spend time upgrading them. Now, if you can't summon um, Death Striker Towers, put in two more Lightning Bolt Towers. If you can't do the Lightning Bolt Towers, put in a lot of Fire Bolt Towers for sure. And maybe a few more Magic Missile Towers as well. And what I want to do is I want to put in two more walls here. And then, of course, upgrade them as well. I can only upgrade the one, though. So basically, if the ogre comes by and bashes through those two, he has to bash through this one here. And chances are he'll probably bash through all three of them, because he's a fairly big guy with a big stick. So that's it for setting it up. That's pretty much the defenses I'm going to be using.
Here come the waverings. And I didn't even need to use my lightning. That's perfect. So again, doing this on medium really is much of a challenge because I'm already level, I'm level 42, 43. So with the buffs that I have to my towers and of course the staff that I have now giving extra buffs that I didn't have with the old tower, with the old staff, sorry, um, my my towers make short work of anything coming towards them. So I'm really not worried about um, getting destroyed here. But as I said, these these strategies do work on most levels, and any of the towers could be substituted with anything else. Um, it all depends on what level you're at. Oh, and I just got hit. That's going to make me lose points at the end. Again, in between mini waves, go and collect your mana. Again, if you wait too long, it does disappear. Or maybe it's just on some levels. I'm not entirely sure the whole reasoning behind it as to why it disappears, but uh, I have noticed it. So now that I do have some upgrading power, I'm going to upgrade my lightning towers. Makes them do a little more damage. Gonna upgrade my lightning tower and my two death towers. Just to get rid of the ogre real quick. Now again, I'm on medium, so I really don't need to do this. Um, but I did have to do it on hard. And the bomber's gonna get through. No, he didn't. I'm gonna upgrade my lightning tower. This wave is almost done. Just need to take out the wave burns. And the round's complete. So go around and pick up all the mana and the items that have been dropped. The thing is, every time you go up a level in difficulty, the creatures that are coming out, they walk a little bit faster, they have a little more health. The ogres tend to have a lot more health, and of course the boss in the next level has a really lot of health. <laughs> this doesn't really make any sense, but a whole lot more health than he did in previous uh, difficulties, which is why I had such a problem taking him out. My defenses just couldn't do enough damage to him, and I'll show you that next round as to what I had set up. And he basically had destroyed almost everything, and I had to take him out manually with the staff that I had previous to this, which if you watch the first two videos for The Apprentice, um, it wasn't really that great of a, a staff to have. Okay, so I basically collect everything I can collect. I really don't need to upgrade anything at this point. Again, I'm on medium, not hard, so wasting that mana is basically just wasting the mana. I'm going to go instead and bank the mana that I have. As you see, I don't have much mana left. Uh, when I got this staff, by playing the um, alchemical laboratory on the hard, I basically tried to upgrade my staff as far as I could with as much mana as I could to get up to at least a respectable uh, damage point and buff point. So let's start up the last round. And you'll see by looking at this view here that nothing gets by my defenses. Um, they're usually taken out by the towers before you can get close to the defensive points. Again, on hard, this doesn't really happen as easily. They do get to my defenses, they do start beating on it. 
So upgrading your defenses is uh, definitely a good idea as opposed to banking your mana. But again, because I'm on normal, this really doesn't really matter at this point. And again, after each little mini wave, do go and collect your mana. Kill anybody in your way. Ooh, that hurt. Collect some items. If you can. I can see that mana just, most of it just disappeared. I lost a lot of mana there. I don't know if there's a limit to how much mana can be on the, the screen at one time or, or what's causing it to disappear. But again, it does disappear uh, a lot. So you do want to go around, trying not to get hit, of course, and collect as much of it as you can. Now, once that ogre appears, I'm going to head off to the front lines again to um, basically watch and see how my defenses do against them. Again, these defenses took them out on uh, hard level quite easily. He didn't get past my defenses. He did a lot of damage to it, but uh, he didn't get past it, which is what you really want to have happen. So there's really no reason why I did this on normal. Uh, it's just because I'm actually going to be doing the video, um, the, the mages video right afterwards. I'm just going to skip to the next level, as opposed to having to go back into the um, VN and switching levels. Okay, the ogre has arrived. I'm just going to collect whatever men I can here. I'm going to go to the front and uh, watch him get destroyed. He's got uh, over 20,000 health. And he's, gonna, he's dead. That was extremely quick. And then my tower should make short work of whatever's left. So while it's doing that, just go around again, collect all the mana. The last four are Waverns, and they're going to get destroyed by my Fireball Towers. They're they'll be they're immune to fire, as you can see. They're glowing in fire, so my um, Magic Towers will have to take care of them. So basically, any good defense is to not rely on one type of tower, unless you're uh, at the beginning you're relying on your Magic Missile. With every class, as I mentioned in previous uh, tutorials and stuff from previous strategies, is um, each class has one defense that is non-immunable. So basically you want to use those as much as possible until you get up to the uh, the higher ranking towers. And then of course once you get those towers, use two or three different types at one time. Uh, that way you guarantee that you kill anything and everything that comes across them. So I'm basically just cleaning up the round here. Making sure I get all the items and all the mana. So it adds to my bank. Again, this round really sucks because of the mana, because of the uh, lava in the center. A lot of your mana ends up going downhill because of it. Nothing down there. I think I already cleaned up this side. Yep. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this strategy of basically defend the crystal on um, the mage's quarters. Again, it works fairly well on the first three levels of difficulty. I've not tried it on Insane, and uh, I will shortly, I guess. But I'm going to wait till I can get a little bit more power into my defenses, because that, uh, that ogre that comes through is quite powerful. On levels that don't have any ogres or anything like that, um, Insane's not too hard, especially at this level, at level um, 43. It's not that hard. But it does get hard when you have an ogre, or in the case of the next tutorial, a, uh, a boss wave. So that's it. Um, once again, thanks for watching uh, Dungeon Defender Strategies uh, by Concerned Normal. I hope you enjoyed this a little bit of a tutorial, and I hope to see you in my other videos. Thanks.